Hi, I'm Erin, an adult teen services librarian here at the Foothills Branch for City of Glendale. I am here with this summer's first DIY to go. We are gonna make this really cute painter stick American flag together. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over the supplies that are gonna be in your bag. You should have three colors of paint. You've got your red, your white, and your blue. You should also have a piece of twine to hang later. You're gonna have three wooden stars that we're going to paint to put on the front of your flag. You should have 10 painter sticks and a paintbrush. Additional supplies you may need and you may like to use would be a pencil, some water for your paint, you can use either tacky glue or regular glue to glue all the pieces together. And because I am messy, I also have paper towels with me. Now with your painter sticks, we are going to paint them. Seven of them are going to line up in a row to make the front of your flag, and three of them are going to go vertical on the back of your flag to support those. So we're gonna go ahead and paint. Um, I will give you an example and a template of what looks like you should be painting. Now, as you can see, I have lined up my seven painter sticks. We're gonna leave these three here and we're gonna leave them completely unpainted. I have gone ahead and mapped out where I'm going to paint my blue. So I'm going to use the top four sticks. I've made a pencil line just to give me an outline where my blue is going to stop right here. Uh, I just used the straight edge of one of the other um, painter sticks and just used a pencil. I'm actually gonna just paint to the bottom of the stick here. So this part will be blue and then I'm gonna alternate with the red and white over here. Okay, so I went ahead and I painted my sticks. Um, I've got my red, I've got my whites, and I have my red, whites, and my blues. Um, just a quick hint, if you're painting these and your stick seems to be drying a little bit bent, you can take them. I had one that was actually, this was quite bent. Um, and then gently kind of bend it back, um, especially if it's a little damp yet, and you can get it so that it's a lot more straighter. So you can see that got straightened out there. So your next step here is going to be taking your three um, plain sticks that you still have and you're going to line them up, one along each edge and one through the middle. Obviously I'm doing this upside down just so you can see at the moment. Um, and the idea is these are going to be on the back of your flag to give them that stability and combine each of those sticks. You have two options as you do this. If you would like, the first option is to line your top stick up along with the top and then line your bottom stick up along with the bottom, spreading those other ones throughout the middle evenly. Um, you can do that so it's all one solid piece. Or if you wanted to use this as maybe like a planter or something, you can squish your middle pieces together more and leaving room down at the bottom. So if you wanted to stick it in as like a planter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sticks and you're gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna make mine all one solid piece. So I'm gonna line up my top and my bottom stick. And I'm gonna take my glue. So I've got a little bit of crafter's glue here. Um, you can use wood glue. You can even use hot glue gun. Um, you can try Elmer's glue. I'm not sure how well it would stick with wood. It should be just fine. Kind of any kind of glue that you've got. And I'm gonna glue my top piece and I'm gonna glue my bottom piece first. Um, so I'm gonna put a nice dollop of glue on my top and my bottom. I'm not gonna worry about those middle pieces just yet because I'm going to want to line them up um, and get them spaced out nicely. So there's my top piece. And over here, I know it's kind of hard to see, there is my bottom piece. So top piece, bottom piece lined up along there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then I'm gonna follow it up with the piece in the middle. So again, I'm just doing my tops and my bottoms right now. So that way I can evenly space out my other pieces as I go along. So I'm gonna do a little bit on the other side. The other thing to keep in mind as you are doing this is to make sure that all of your sticks um, are pointing the same direction. So each of the sticks um, has not only your little curved piece here, but on one side, it does have the ruler. Um, so just make sure as you're painting, for example, um, putting them on the back doesn't matter nearly as much um, for the ruler, but I am gonna put all of mine so that my little squiggly part on the bottom um, is on the bottom of my flag so that those are all going the same direction. So I'm gonna estimate about in the middle, 
where this goes. And that is going to make my frame. Okay, so now I have my frame all ready to go. So my next step is going to be laying out the rest of my pieces trying to keep them as evenly spaced and in as in order um, as they should be on our American flag. And again, making sure all of my um, curved end pieces are going the same direction. And once you have them laid out and spaced the way that you would like them to be spaced, you are then just gonna go ahead and glue them on. Right. So you're gonna to wanna to press those down and make sure that they're holding nice and tight. And it's gonna take them a little bit to dry. I would give them at least 24 hours or overnight in order to dry to really get stuck there. You have a next step. So you have three stars that came with your kit. Um, I went ahead and painted my stars white because we have the white paint. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and put them on your flag. Again, you can kind of put them wherever you would like. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. All right, so now I've got my stars placed. Um, your last step, and I'm not going to do it right now, um, included is about two feet of twine. And this is going to be if you would like to hang yours up. Um, I would recommend just tying it around your two top pieces um, and that way you'll have a nice little hanger. So I'm gonna show you kind of my finished product here so you can see what it looks like. Again, um, you can leave yours with more space at the bottom if you wanna make a planter. Um, or you can do as I did and space them out however you would like. And here is my final product. So as you can see, I have, I lined up my top and my bottom uh, pieces with my flag, with my end of my sticks. But again, if you wanted to space these much closer together, you could, leaving some room at the bottom if you wanted to make, say, this as a planter. Um, once all of my glue dries, I am going to tie this around the top here in order to make it a nice little hanger. So I hope you've enjoyed making this craft with me today. Uh, be sure to check out more of the DIYs to go uh, this summer. Have a good day.